<clears throat> what is happening, everybody? TC here with Smoky Mountain Knifeworks, SMKW.com, and we're up here with Mari Ford from Case Knives. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And uh, this is our first time getting to come up here. We're Man, really excited. It, we talked earlier. It, it's been too long. You yeah. guys are close enough, uh, obviously. Uh, we love Smoky. Smoky is very supportive of Case. Thank you very much. Um, but yeah, we're close enough. We should be doing this tour. We got you in our our studio. You know, we're as a sales office. We just have things that we show people, so we don't. Right. Have, we're not open to the consuming public, uh, but certainly open to Smoky Mountain Knifeworks anytime you want to come through. Absolutely, so we're glad to have you. Now, um, this uh, this selection here is fairly unique, and we we've talked about this a couple of times now, and we wanted to yes. feature these. Um, because these are not just your run of the mill case knives, right? These right. are something that are, uh, you know, a little bit different and this is going to be aimed more towards the collectors out there. Yeah. And, and just those that want something that, uh, you know, maybe there's a favorite pattern that's going to be out of production for a little bit. You know, 2022 is a unique year for us. Uh, we talked about this in an earlier video. I think you and I were walking through your showroom on yep. TC. You realize you have some items here that aren't in production that are 2022 items. So it, it, you're kind of in a in a loophole yeah, to some degree. So. Absolutely. And you know, these are, all of these are items that myself, just walking through the showroom, they do kind of stick out. They are special. Right. Um, the fit and finish, they're, they're just a little bit different than, you know, what you would normally expect. And, but, most people wouldn't really notice this unless, you know, we talk right. about it. And that's why we're here. And, and I think that's part of it. So in 2022, um, it, it's ironic. We talked about this earlier. We have what we call TC items. After your man himself, no, items. actually it means temporary <laughs> capacity. So what we did in 2022 is we kind of narrowed the line a little bit. So okay. we have 25 core patterns that we are producing uh, in volume. Uh, the last two years of COVID have been a blessing and a curse. We are we have record sales for 133 year old company. We're doing better than we've ever done, uh, but at the same time we have record back orders, as Tyler Pipes and Smoky Mountain Knifeworks could attest. Um, <laughs> so what we've tried to do is narrow the manufacturing. So that decision was made late fall of 21. Uh, we had our 2022 catalog planned. We had we had product families. You've seen the Cayenne Bone. You've seen the the Mediterranean Pocket Worn. You've seen a lot of things. Well, right before we went to print. Uh, we pulled some of the product, like, okay, a Seahorse Whittler, although it's a beautiful pattern, we love it, we're not going to make it in 2022. Uh, you look at the Swayback, you look at the Hawkbill, you look at, I'm looking at some of these, the Panama, the, the Half Whittler. These are patterns that are core case items, and we're putting a pause on them. So a TC item doesn't necessarily mean TC, um, but it means that we're not producing. Well, we were so far along in that catalog process that we had components started for those product families. So... When you look at the cayenne bone in our catalog, we have three SKUs. When you look at what was gonna be in there, we had two more that were further along that were like, we gotta finish these out. Yeah. So most of the items that we're gonna see are between 300 pieces and up to no more than like 1,100 pieces. Right. Um, these are not in a catalog, not in our catalog. Uh, these are no longer in production because we built them as a build out as we finished our catalog. Um, so they're kind of in that in that gray matter, right? Yeah. They're in that area where uh, we didn't really advertise them to anybody. Right. We advertised to our master dealers um, and a few other folks because there were so few of them. Yeah. Well, when you see those in a in a display case at Smokey, I'm like, people may not know the backstory exactly. with this because if they did and they love a Seahorse Whittler and the new Cayenne Bone that is brand new in 22 um, has a Seahorse Whittler in it, you're like, yeah. how is that happening? when Case didn't make a Seahorse in 22. Well, it's actually Tang Stamp 2022 yep. because it was done right at the right at the beginning. So you're gonna find a whole lot of those patterns in here. So if you like the Copper Lock, this is the 20th anniversary, 25th anniversary of the Copper Lock. And we actually, the Copper Lock is a TC item. So we don't have any new production Copper Locks. So a great thing to do would be to grab a, a Copper Lock in this series uh, because it, it was planned by Case. Obviously, it was produced by Case, uh, but it was never marketed by Case in 2022. Yeah. So if I'm a collector or if I just want something different and unique, man, I'm going to give these things a really close look. Because, yeah. like I said, you know, some of them, there's there's less than 300. When you look at the the purple curly maple with the Ixa shield, uh, we made about 280 of those. That was the very first production 
that's when we were able to turn it off, but we had to finish those out. So yeah. there's just not many of those. That pattern, uh, the mini copperhead uh, that you're seeing right there in that, that pattern is a TC item, which means we're not gonna make them this year. Um, it will come back. Most of these will come back, but it may be a year, maybe two years, and very likely these handle colors will change. So uh, if you wanted a Panama, that one's going away for a little bit longer. I'm, yeah. I'm certain of that. Um, that big honking Panama. Uh, <laughs> if you want that Panama uh, in that purple curly maple, um, man, you better grab it. You better grab it in this one. Um, so the Cayenne Bone, that is a medium stockman, but that is our 087 medium stockman. You know, we have the 18, which is a little bigger, rounded. We've got the 032, which is a square bolster. The 47, which is bigger, but that 087, uh, you'll find that knife also in like our Texas Jack. That's kind of the style that we use. Well, that one is a TC item. So yeah. we're not making the 087 Stockman. So you have a chance to get that. Um, now, this one right here is is pretty special, I think. You and, picked that up this, four times uh, oh, when we're yeah. sitting here. So that's great. I, I love that one right there. So this is a Swayback. Swayback Gent. Uh, this is a Tony Bowes pattern. Yeah. One of my favorites, too. It is. Uh, I think it's underrated. You know, if yeah. people that carry that, and I've carried one, I'm like, man, that is just a great knife. It's got that Warncliffe style blade on it. It's a great um, size. And this one is a TC item. So, TC. It absolutely You need to get is. you one, yep. but it's also, it's not going to be made past this production. Uh, I believe in this particular one, we had close to a thousand. Uh, that was one we were a little further along. So, um, those quantities will represent kind of where it was in production. You'll say, hey, you know, in November, when Case made this decision, we had, okay, we had enough for the first thousand or first right. 200 or 300. And that one being a Tony Bowes pattern, it's going to have the TB on the yes. tank stamp. So, yes. it's a 117 uh, pattern for. Yeah. Our pattern guys out there yep. or, or ladies that like to like to look at particular knife patterns um that's beautiful right there i gotta show that one off that's also a tony bows the sow belly yeah. one of my all-time favorite I, you know I, the three blade you know case is known for our three blades but the sow belly stockman style three blade is uh especially with that awesome. swedge on the blade right there yes. uh, that's yeah. just gorgeous very signature tony that is that black and green uh micarta mm -hmm. you know that was a new addition to the catalog in 2022 but if you get our catalog, you will not see you will not see the sow belly, you will not see the copper lock because those are TC items. Now, another thing that uh, you know our customers are really uh, big fans of is going to be stag. Stag, yes. And uh, we've got a couple here um, that are in those TC items. Yes. So that mini copperhead, you know, that kind of a pin style knife, uh, we've got that in red stag. We also have it in just genuine burnt stag. Uh, that was one we were super excited to get back in the catalog. Yeah. Uh, and then as just as the transition through operations team worked out, uh, that was a pattern that we said, well, we're going to have to put a pause on that. So it's a TC item, but we built like three to 400, I think, of both of those. So, you know, again, these are these are true rare finds. Yeah. And and I know most of these are in stock at Smokey. So, right. uh, you know, I think are you going to have a link or something to these? Yes, items? we will have these linked okay. in the uh, in the description below. These are all available. Um, also a really cool hawk bill right here. Yes. So those are, uh, you know, not as easily to, easy to come by. They're also right. not as hugely popular. Right. Um, but almost very specific, right? Yeah. People love that hawk bill blade, or they feel like it's a little too ambitious for what right. they might need. Um, but that is part of our American Workman series. That is the carbon steel blade, so it's got a great working blade in it. Uh, you just have just a fantastic one in that. And also that copper lock that that's in that one too. Yeah. And that's that Warncliffe copper lock. Um, that's super cool. Right you know, there. again, that is a great working tool, and you've got that that Warncliffe blade with that carbon steel blade, um, and just that it's a red synthetic, but yeah. it's American Workman. And again, these were planned. We thought they were going to be home runs, and they would have been, uh, but because we had to make some adjustments to manufacturing yeah. to. Uh, to get caught up a little bit. Another Seahorse Whittler here. And yeah. you know, I love Seahorse Whittlers. Yes. I've, I've asked for more more of those patterns. and We heard you, but then we... <laughs> so you heard me. And but then, then you're TC like, no. happened. TC happened. Yep. So, um, and this is our Rough Black. So this is part of our Rough Black series. Um, that gum fuddy, as yeah. some people would call it. But uh, you've got that, that beautiful black handle. Um, the lines on a Seahorse Whittler, you know, I always... Uh, I love Tony references. And this is not a Tony pattern, although it, it's... It, very reminiscent of yeah. Tony patterns, but uh, he would call that sexy. He's oh, like, it you know, absolutely he's, is. Oh, look at those lines, man. Look yeah. look how that lays in there. He said, that's just, that's a sexy knife. I'm like, it is. First, I thought that was weird, but as you handle knives, you're like, 
That's true. It really That's is. true. And then we've got a couple of half whittlers here. Yes. So a couple of Kieranite and half whittlers. You've got the blue pearl Kieranite and you've got the patriotic Kieranite. Uh, half whittlers are a great little gentleman's carry. Yeah. Um, that one is going away for a while. Uh, probably a little longer than even 23. So if you're fond of this style knife, uh, obviously in the Kieranite, beautiful handle material. Uh, it's a great time to pick up a few of those half whittlers. Put them in your collection or put them in your pocket. Um, just really some really yeah. cool knives. I'm really digging this. And uh, folks, these are, like you said, options that are not going to be around for very long. Right. And they're going away for a while. There's They're limited quantities, so they're going to be great for a collector out there. Um, but they're also, the fit and finish on these things is, is absolutely phenomenal. Um, there's a couple here that I'm really digging on, especially <laughs> that, that Cayenne Bone Seahorse and that uh, Tony Bowes sway back right there. As nice I think, guys, I do think I talk about them like I really need that. Yeah. <laughs> and <laughs> I it, see it, I need it. It makes it difficult for us. It, it to, does to it go does. home and, and yeah, and feed it, our families. Yeah, <laughs> feed like, our families and, and like, actually explain today? it to yeah, our, our wives. Right. It, yeah, it's 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 very difficult. Yes. Mari, thank you so much. Hey, I appreciate it. Appreciate you coming to Knoxville Absolutely. to our sales office. Thank you for what you guys are doing. Uh, you and Isaac and Greg are killing it. We we love watching you guys. We love. Uh, the responses we love seeing the responses so uh, we read the comments too as often as we can there so we if go. they're great comments let us know if they're bad we'll uh, we'll certainly work on it we'll there we go it, so. awesome folks definitely check these out we're going to have the links in the description below for all of these knives and remember limited runs and these are going away for a while and we don't know how long so um, these are going to be great collector's items and just great items to have in your collection in general so uh, check those out and remember here at Smoky Mountain Knife Works. If it cuts like a case knife, then we carry it.